This is Inland SoCal the day where we look at what's going on around the region and online. Everyone is weighing in on the state budget crisis and looming cuts after the state's voters rejected Governor Schwarzenegger's initiatives on Tuesday. And no one makes the case larger than the Los Angeles Times, which paints a catastrophic picture of cuts, especially in education. The newspaper also reports that federal hey, officials sir. are uncertain if they can oh, bail sir. the state out because that could open the floodgates for others to ask. The only one not really weighing in on the budget matter was the San Diego Union Tribune, which seemed to highlight what people really care about, American Idol. In the world of social media, size does matter. So we decided to take a survey of who's doing what on social media. We did Facebook and Twitter, and we decided to do a little comparison here. And uh, the winner, of course, uh, was us, the business press, with 1,000 followers on Twitter. Some of the others, the San Diego Sun has 77. Inland Valley Daily Bolton has 81, the Press Enterprise has 225, and the North County Times in California has 990. The Redlands Daily Facts is reporting that George Kokorian, owner of the city's Kokorian Theater, has big plans for the Santa Fe Depot, which he also owns. The long-closed depot, which hasn't seen train traffic in many years, is one of the region's most stylish and recognizable depots. However, what to do with it has befuddled folks there for years now could play host to numerous businesses, including restaurants and shops. Stay tuned on this one. The Desert Sun provides some analysis of Representative Mary Bono Mack's role in deciding how the U.S. regulates climate change and energy reform. Bono Mack sits on the Energy and Commerce Committee. And, of course, the Desert Sun always knows what drives traffic, this, and high school football. And they are basically breaking down how every program in the Coachella Valley is doing right on the front page of MyDesert.com. All right, that's all the time we have for today. I'm Louis Amistoy. We'll see you again tomorrow with another edition of Inland SoCal Today.